next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, Assassin. And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch them up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fight of the and that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big body to play. I mean, he's cutting down the size, 
with these beautiful legs. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right under the elbow, the body kick leg. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Nice punch by Lee. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Need to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're gonna land one. Shut everything down. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he'll get back to range. Knee to the body, it is blocked. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Liver kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That oh, horn sounds wow. means we have reached the end of round one. Take a seat, buddy. Come on. Let's get this together now. All right? You've been here before, and you're going to overcome this. You're down right now, but I need you to work. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. advantage of what is an obvious edge in touch. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice punch lands over the top. Circling to his right. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Cable's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, this fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Big punch land. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hands up, hands up. Lee gets 
gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean... You would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's getting done. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Is there. Three minutes to go in round three. Use that low kick. And he continues to work the body here. leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He blocks the punch. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. It's good punch land. Oh, nice. Take that take down. Take it down. 20 seconds to go. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high. And now he's got hurt bad. What a round. Take a deep breath. Look at Yeah? All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were working. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, he 
landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Throwing that jab, no good. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Look at a orchid at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, you don't feel this again. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Left punch is true. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Strike there by Lee. Checks the leg kick. Not there. 20 seconds left. Hook to the headlands, flush there by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Boom. Knee to the body. Boom. Nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. That was a thudding leg kick. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Beautiful body kick. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You got to check these low leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Just unable to quite find that range. Slips. Put your hands up higher. Nice straight punch. Get him. He lands and maybe time to get the 
bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, Superman punches Drew. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice right Nice there. kick there by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Seconds to go now. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if we got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? See the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. You did exactly.